guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys something really awesome that you can do with these command blocks which pretty much allows you to customize a mob. So for a little example, a zombie can actually wear like a lighter wings or hold a diamond sword just by using a command which is really awesome and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video so if you do enjoy, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. Alright, so right here I have all the command blocks and everything set up so I can actually show you guys and explain how everything actually works. So the first one we're going to do is a zombie. So just spawn it right here and, uh, you know, it has a little bit of protection so it doesn't burn in the daylight. But the first one is a head change. So that's pretty much, you know, changing the head. So uh, right here, the command, as you can see, is replace item. And uh, you can actually just kind of, you know, pause the video and type this out. And I will kind of explain it uh, very soon. But as you can see, this uh, number right here that I just removed... You can change that to say like one, two, five, or something like that, and it's gonna change to like a dragon head or like the creeper head, which is really, really cool. So, number five is actually for this. So, look at that. Just like that, it's gonna change, and now a zombie is gonna have a dragon head. <laughs> that is so cool. So, we're gonna go ahead and remove that, and we're gonna type in a four. Now if we go ahead and do that again, as you can see it has a creeper head this time, so that's pretty cool, not gonna lie, very awesome, and you can, you know, obviously put like a diamond helmet on it, or like an iron helmet if you really want to, but I think this is a lot more fun, look at that, <laughs> so cool, so we're gonna go ahead and actually, let me just kind of explain this uh, very quickly, so I'm just gonna type exactly the same thing, and just kind of go through it, so just open that up, so replace item, just like that, and make sure you do spell everything correctly. If you say replace items, then it's not going to work. And I've done that many times, and I'm just like, why is it not working? But that is the reason why. So just do at E, and you want to do these little brackets, type, and then equals. So this one, we're going to do a zombie. You can actually do like a skeleton, or a stray, or a zombie pigman. But this one, we're going to do a zombie, just like that. And we're going to close the brackets. And now we're going to do slot dot armor dot head so if you want to change like the chest plate then it's dot chest or dot legs or dot feet so it's the same command right here except just you know this part is a little bit different so head and then we're gonna do um pretty much one and then skull and then one again and a different number so we're gonna do one or we can actually just do four again and pretty much if you've done that uh, correctly then it should work so just go like that as you can see it just changed so we can actually, you know, change what it's holding in its hand as well. So the command is right here. So this command is only a little bit different because it just says slot dot weapon dot main hand one cookie. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So we can change this to say apple. And now if I do this, boom, as you can see, the zombie is now holding an apple. Uh, we can change that to anything really. So command underscore block and then it's gonna hold a command block so there we go <laughs> so the next one is pretty much chest plate except uh, you know the command is obviously exactly the same except for one part where it just says slot dot armor dot chest instead of you know dot head or dot feet or dot legs and of course you know we're just gonna do the elytra so if I go ahead and do this boom as you can see now our zombie is actually wearing the elytra wings and um, holding a command block with a creeper head so that's how you can customize a mob and of course we can do the feet and the legs and as you can see look at that so the same command is right here for the feet but of course you know it just says dot feet and it says one diamond boots we can actually change that to uh you know iron underscore boots now if you just type in boots that's not going to work as you can see just not going to work so make sure it says s at the end and there we go, we just changed it to iron. So that is pretty much how you can do that. That's really cool. So we're gonna do the stray this time and let's just mess around with the stray. So as you can see, that's what the stray looks like. Obviously it's holding a bow, but we can make it hold like a dirt block or something like that. So the command for this is a little bit different because obviously the type equals is not zombie, it's a skeleton dot stray. And um, yeah, so now we can go ahead and just, you know, do that. And uh, there we go. As you can see, it's now Wearing the elytra wings, and this one, I have no idea what it actually does. Oh, okay, this one's changing the head of the stray, so boom. There we go. <laughs> Has the creeper on, but uh, I, I do want to kind of change it. What happens if we change that to six? 
I haven't ever, you know, tried that before. So, okay, six does not actually work. So five is the max. So five is the dragon head. So there we go. Our strays now wearing a dragon head with the light wings looking pretty dope. So we're going to kind of just change what it's holding in its hand. So um, let me just quickly do this. So replace item just like that. And then at E, uh, the brackets type, then equals, and then we want to do skeleton dot stray. If you just type in stray, it won't work. I actually had a little bit of problems with that, so I couldn't figure it out. But that's what it is. Uh, so slot dot weapon dot main hand, then one, and we're just gonna do dirt. And uh, hopefully that does work. It should if done correctly. So there we go. As you can see, it's now holding a dirt block instead of you know. A, um, a bow. So that's pretty much how you can customize a mob in Minecraft Pocket Edition in the brand new update. No mods, no add-ons, just a simple command. So of course we can change like the armor of it and all that kind of stuff. You guys get the point. Pretty much it's the exact same thing as this except obviously it would just say equals skeleton dot stray. So that's how you can customize a mob just by using commands, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, and also leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See ya.